Hey guys, Sally here. I'm the drone girl. I am here with Michaela Galler. She is the drone soccer queen. She told me she has too many titles. She doesn't know what they are. So I have dubbed her a drone soccer queen. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thank you so much for having me and getting to talk a little bit about drone soccer and stuff. Okay, so this weekend here at Palm Springs Drone Fest is the first time I've actually ever seen a real drone soccer tournament with my own eyes. So I think I should have the best kind of explain to people what they are watching when they see drone soccer. Yeah, so drone soccer, it's pretty crazy. It's kind of like Quidditch from Harry Potter's the typical like main thing that people start looking at. It is a five on five sport where the drones are either defending or offending. And there's typically three defenders flying in front of the goal while the other two drones are going out to get the score. Now one drone is called a striker. And that drone is the only drone that can actually get a score. And it flies through the hoop and it has to cross the midpoint line in the arena to get another point. And all the drones have to have crossed that point as well to score again. Now the other team is also doing the exact same thing. So there's 10 drones flying around and combating against each other. Really loud and really exciting. And in between, I believe the rules are the same, but they're in between each three minute match, there's a five minute period where you fix all the drones after you destroy them the best you can. And you go back up and you have another three minute round and it's the best out of three, I okay. believe. Yeah. And so what sort of skills does someone need to have to be good at drone soccer? You know, it. Anybody could be good at drone okay. soccer. It just takes some practice. It takes some time. It doesn't normally just come right away. Some people have that school of like taking the drone and just flying. And sometimes it takes a little longer for everyone. Once you get that confidence and know like, hey, I can do this. I can fly this. You start to progress, you know. Okay. And you know, having the school of knowing how to use a wrench or a screwdriver and being able to build really helps build your skills for the future. So right. getting to learn as a student really is pretty cool. Right. So you have gone to fly in tournaments all over. Where is the coolest place you've flown? I would say South Korea. Okay. Um, back in 2023 at the uh, FIDO World Championship, I believe, or something like that. I have to go back and check the name, but that was the most amazing experience I've ever had. It does kind of feel to me like South Korea is like the headquarters of drone soccer. Absolutely. I think they're like 10 years in advance or something out there. Okay, so <laughs> they're 10 years in advance, but where is the future of drone soccer going from here? From here, I think it's going to go way over beyond all over the world i know here in the u.s they're popping up in each different states but i hear that they're in italy and um england and europe all over over there and i think they're actually getting over more um asia area as well so i think the sport is going to probably make the olympics one day okay well you heard it here first thanks so much for joining us happy flying yeah